Good yeah, yeah, man. A bit of, yeah, a bit emotional as well. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Still, I don't know if it really hasn't kicked in really because I've had to get the stitches and do a bit of the media and stuff like that. But you know, it's Chad Mendes. You know, I know I've said this in the interviews. You know, I'm going. He's only lost to the greats, and I'm going to be another great. You say these things, but it's fucking happened. You know what I mean? It's it's unreal feeling. Um, I got a lot, of, a lot of respect. You know, for the guy. And I knew it was going to be a tough fight. You know, I, I didn't. You know, I might have been down that first round. Um, so it's good to, you know, a bit of adversity. But at the same time, you know, I still think I could have done better. But you know, it's good to show people that you know I'll stand in front of the toughest, most most explosive guys in the division. And I, I could see him start to crumble as soon as I had my way with him. And um, it went. It ended up going to plan. Do you think it's sort of just the body that kind of contributed to that? You had that right before the, the, the finish. You had that. Yeah, that that's um well that's what hurt, that's definitely what I heard him and then I think the I haven't really got to see it you know what I mean I think there was a right hand after that and, and he went down but it's definitely the body shot um it just yeah a cu- couple of body shots a couple of like little knees in there and even when I'd land jabs and the fact that you know, it's different you I don't know what it looks like on the outside but when you got me putting that pressure on you it's draining it's it's you know claustrophobic feeling for him and I could see it in his face I'd land a jab or he would even you know, he would land shots even when he, he, I went down and I come back up. You know, I wasn't rocked and I just come straight back on him. I could see it in his face. He's like going far out. I, just, I was, he wanted it over then. And yeah, like I said, I, I'm here. Yeah, I'm doing this for my family. You need to hit me more than that to stop me. The third round was pretty crazy. What goes to your mind when you're having these, you know, insane exchanges? You know, you're dropping him, he's dropping you. It's, mate, I don't know. Like, I was just going there. I've got a job to do. I just focus on what's in front of me. Um, like I said, you know, I didn't feel hurt in there, so I got back up and then I just went straight back to, all right, let's work your game. I was having fun in there as well, I really was. Um, I started to see things. I know you might have land shots, he was throwing shots, you know, on the hooks and that, they might have been landing a bit, so they might have, I don't know what it looks like, I've got to watch back the tape. But, um, you know, I still felt very comfortable in there and I sort of seen the shots coming, some of them snuck through, but other than that, you know, it all it all went my way, I still thought, you know, like, it, I, like I said, I could see him crumbling and, um, each time I landed a jab, I could just see him going downhill, and then I finally uh, got the finish. You've been saying it really all week that he's only really lost to the best fighters in the yeah. now, you're, now you're among that Yeah, class. exactly right. What, what do you want next? Who do you want next? Mate, I called, Chad, I called out uh, Max Holloway, not because, you know, uh, you know, I think, oh, yeah, I'm definitely the next in line. You know, obviously, Moicano and, and was probably the next in line, but he missed weight. And then you're hearing a lot of people say, you know, what's left for him in this division? He hasn't fought, a, you know, a wrestler really for a while. A good, strong wrestler with a, you know, big puncher. You know what I mean? And, and I know he's he's a gamer, like, and he's the type of guy that he'll, you know, we've all taken. He didn't have to cop that damage that he done, but the fact that he just comes forward and that's his game, you know what I mean? That's why a lot of people got to respect for him. But I just think that's why we're a bad matchup for him. And until he takes out someone like me or Frankie Edgar, then you could say he's took out everyone in the division. I really think that, you know. So you're saying, hold on a second, man. Yeah, well, even he wants to. Man, he's a gamer. He wants to. He wants to take out the division. He really does. That's why everyone loves him. But um, I reckon, you know, if I'm not next, I'll be the fight after that. And I guarantee you, if he, you know, if he plays that game that he always does, and I know he will. Like, again, he's a gamer. He's a gangster. I love it. But um, that's just not going to work for me. Will you be open for fighting Jeff Frank Edgar or Mike I'll fight anyone in the division. You know, who calls out Chad Mendes? You know, not many people call out Chad Mendes. I want people in front of me. That's it. Yeah. Like Are you another person that's going to be the next wave in that next generation? Hundred percent. Honestly, um, every time I come back here, I usually tell you about an injury or something. I didn't have an injury this time, but um, the last two years, I've uh, literally been like in a barely training at all. In between fights and that, I'm not really training because my back. I've had um, issues with my back the whole time, and you know, I didn't really know any better. I got a new crew looking after me, and um, that's not going to happen no more. You know, they're going to be. I'll be training all year round, which I'm not used to. So I had 12-week camp where I had like six weeks where I could just relax and do a bit of wrestling, do grappling, which I haven't done before any of my other fights before. I had six weeks to prepare for my last four fights. That's it. I've done next to nothing. Till then, six weeks, let's get prepared for the fight. And, you know, so that's why, I, man, I, you know, I just can't wait to see what the next year brings because I get to just train consist- consistently, you know what I mean? I haven't really had that. You're going to see a total new beast come 2019. The grade's going to get greater 100%. I'm still new to this sport. You know, I'm learning every day. I'm getting more and more comfortable in there. I felt comfortable as hell against someone like Chad Mendes. Mate, that's, that's dangerous.
We good? Thanks, All right. Thanks, guys. Hopefully that was good.